Hello guys and welcome to this walkthrough slash tutorial slash guide of the Amiant Command Conference app specific to the chair and the delegate side. Now obviously in Amiant Command or rather the Amiant Command Conference app what's special is that everybody in the whole conference logs into one platform, one conference and accesses all the features that, that are relevant to them um, in, in, in the way they go about the conference. Um, and that means that we can leverage a whole range of features and things that just make your life as a chair easier, that you save time and really let everybody focus on what matters most to them. So yeah, we're just going to do this quick video, about 15 minutes-ish, I think, um, to take you through it all. Um, now let's have a look at the screen right here. So right now we're looking on the left side on uh, the screen that uh, a chair might see. And on the right side we see a screen uh, of a delegate. Uh, we're here in, a de in our demo, demo conference, a demo committee, the chair is here and then we have the delegate of Belize on the right side. And as you can see quite uh, straight away, um, there is a, a quite a difference in interface because the chair has all those buttons here and all the things here to, to really manage uh, the debate, whereas the delegate mostly just looks on. Now, let's Let's firstly take a look at, at the most important thing, obviously the core of debate. And with this committee mode uh, hover bo button up here in the corner, the chair can really select which committee mode you're in at the moment. So we're, we're in a general speakers list now, you can also transition over to the moderate caucus. And as you saw me switching to that, you also saw that on the delegate side, it immediately switched to that caucus as well. So delegates don't have to switch themselves, it all happens automatically and you always see what matters and what's relevant to them. Now, let's keep on going. Unmoderate caucus, there's obviously a whole bunch of modes there. Um, all right, we're in general speaker system now and as I mentioned, because we have both delegates and chairs going in, uh, accessing the whole thing, um, we can leverage a whole range of features. Um, now, let's go into the dashboard, toggle those settings really quick. We'll get back to the dashboard in a, in a second. But what I just turned on is the ability for delegates to add themselves to the general speakers list. So as you can see here, now this button appeared, um, the add myself button, and like this, you know, delegates can just, you see the delegate of Belize just add himself or herself to the speakers list. And this can just smooth out operations and uh, speed up processes that much, obviously, in committees. A similar feature is also available in the moderated caucus. Uh, here you see it's a called a lower and a raise and lower hand feature because obviously the dynamics in the moderated caucus are quite a bit different to those in, in the general speakers list. So the chair will want to sort of moderate debate a little bit more. Um, and therefore we have the raise hand feature there, delegate raises his hand, chairs will see that instantly, delegate will jump to the top of the list here and the, and the chair can then add that delegate to the list. Or he can just essentially uh, select countries right here from the add speakers list, uh, card um, to then jump into the debate as the debate develops. Now, uh, we can also leverage similar things in, uh, in the vote. Um, there's no, we, we don't have a draft resolution. How is that even possible? Let's just add a draft resolution here. Resolution, oops, resolution. So I can't type in the morning. 1.1, here we go. We're not gonna select a submit, we're just gonna go like this. Um, now this adds a vote uh, to our voting tab here. And now we can see, um, because again, as a chair, I have here in our little setup mode, like we always have those with a, with a where you see the yellow wheel or bu yellow buttons, that always configures whatever you're doing at the moment. Um, and now in the vote, we have direct app voting enabled uh, for delegates. And well, that is exactly what the delegate did right here. Um, uh, right, delegate of Belize now voted in favor of this resolution. So you can also speed up voting procedures like that. And we're gonna have a closer look at that in a second once you get to procedural votes in the voting tab. All right, now, uh, I mentioned the dashboard earlier. Uh, dashboard is quite an important place um, because here you find um, roll call uh, for the chair. And again, obviously here, we also have a self-registration for delegates. Uh, if that's toggled on by the chair, delegates can set themselves present or present voting. Quite simple and straightforward. Uh, this is also where the chair can set the agenda manually or where delegates can see the agenda. Let's go hello uh, world with 3L that checks out. All right, um, we also see points, all right? Delegates can raise a point here um, and chairs will see that in, uh, pop up instantly. 
And we also have some statistics up here. So this is really cool. Now, because everybody's logged in, everything is recorded, um, uh, not recorded in terms of audio or video, but recorded in terms of we know it's happening. Um, we have the statistics up here. Uh, so delegate can only see his own statistics, but the chair can take a look at the statistics for the entire committee. And that's obviously really cool. Let's have a look at that. Um, here you now see the entire committee. We have not that many delegates in here. We have a Sussex delegate and this kid, which is me. Um, but you see the um, uh, average speaking time for the committee, the amount of speeches, submitted motions, past motions. We're going to take a look at that in a second. Um, and then the activity score, which is a bit of a random metric, but you know, it's fun anyway. Um, and there you can down here then see all the individual delegates. You can order it by whatever you, uh, however, or whichever order you'd like, and you can really compare them. And this can help you, for one, inform um, uh, best delegate decisions, but obviously it can also be sort of a learning metric for delegates and um, maybe help to understand why they have not succeeded that well. If, for example, they've just into, uh, submitted like 100 motions and only passed two because they were all rubbish. Um, that might be possible. All right, let's go back home. Uh, and let's close um, the dashboard here as well. Um, obviously, up here next to the dashboard, we also have the chat um, a toggle, which allows both delegates and chairs to open to ch the chat to talk to people, um, send a bit of message. Um, oh, this is actually talking to the delegate of Belize. Uh, hey there, uh, you are amazing, bro. All right, and then this will obviously then uh, toggle that notification up here for the chair for the delegate and uh, he will feel or she will feel loved uh, by that compliment. Now, talking talked enough about the home tab, let's transition over into motions. And this is sort of uh, where at the moment, so we're still uh, in beta right now. Beta PHT is the current version. Uh, whenever you're watching this, uh, that might obviously differ, but delegates will have to manually switch over to the motions tab uh, because we didn't want to force switch people between tabs too much. So um, now, we both transition into the motions tab. And this is where fun really, really begins. You see, I already introduced here uh, as a delegate of Belize, unmodded caucus, uh, a motion for that. Um, this I can do through all those buttons here. There's like, I think 21 motions at the moment. Um, I can also, um, uh, let's let's have a, a motion for an unmodded caucus, but this time this delegate wants uh, to go for 16 minutes. So as you see, um, I'm doing it as a chair now, and I can just do that as a chair. But uh, as a chair, I can also select a submitter. So if, for example, a delegate doesn't have internet right now or it doesn't really have good access, um, which is unlikely, but possible, I can still select a submitter. Let's go with Benin and uh, submit that motion. Now, those motions are obviously now ordered all in, in order of disruptiveness, uh, which you see happening up here. Um, now, you see, again, there's a lot of tools and buttons here uh, for, uh, for the chair. Um, you can pass a, a resolution, fa uh, a motion, fail it. Uh, and you can vote on it. And this is really, really fun because procedural votes often take up so, so much time and they're really annoying to count all those votes as a chair. So now we have, again, app voting enabled and delegates can just boop, vote in favor. Uh, and you saw that pop up for the chair here and you can just like this uh, do a procedural vote, which is really, really cool. Again, obviously, the other chairs can override those things here. And once as a chair, you feel like it's been enough. Oh, well, actually, you're going to see a majority in uh, like the vote result indicated up here. Once you feel like it's enough, you, you can disable uh, the voting so delegates don't uh, like switch around and, and do a bit of a switch through there. All right, so that's that. Um, uh, you can also have a debate on a motion, which you can trigger here, uh, and that allows you just to debate a motion. And it's all in one place, which was really important to us because, well, obviously, you know, in, in, in it, when you're sharing, you want want to have quick access to everything, and you don't want to, you know, be be running around thinking about, oh, what am I, what module am I now going to use to to make this happen and to run this session? Um, so that's that's all there, and it's quite for, quite quite straightforward, quite simple. Again, chair can toggle all of this on and off. So if you don't want delegates to submit motions or you don't want them to withdraw motions, you can just toggle that off, and well, delegates will see that. Really, really simple. Now, uh, documents tab. Oh, <laughs> there's a lot of approved motions. Because this is our test conference, our demo conference, there's a lot uh, in here already. But we've now transitioned into the documents tab. And again, within the documents tab, you have sort of two sections uh, as chairs and delegates. You have the approval documents and you have the committee documents uh, for the chair. Uh, and as a delegate, you have your personal documents and you have the committee documents. 
So the committee documents are all the documents uh, that are introduced in your committee, right? Like draft resolutions, amendments, working papers. This is also where you're gonna see position papers. Um, but this is also where you just see, see um, general conference documents like rules of procedure that the admin or the secretary general may have uploaded. Uploaded. Secretary general also that's a different view entirely or admin. Um, there's gonna be a separate video for that. Um, all right, let's go to the approval section or the personal section here. Um, and let's upload a document. Um, so delegate of Belize is doing it once again. Uh, let's upload this picture here of our little video set. Oop, uh, it's done already. Oop, all right. Enter. All right, go. We can name that a working paper 1.7. Um, and uh, we can add sponsor signatories. Not going to do that now. Just going to go and uh, there. It's uploaded now. And you see it in your private documents as a delegate. And uh, now you can, uh, so there's a lot of things you can do here. Uh, we're just gonna focus on the approval uh, sequence for now. And you can hear now request approval for that document. Um, I hope you can see it now. Now my, my, there's no video overlay over that. Either way, it's the first option in the pop over on the right. Uh, so we, we request approval from the chair. The document disappears from the private section down here, pops up into the approval section up here. Normally you wouldn't have that many up here because but because we've been like playing around with it so much, um, there's all those documents there. Anyway, if we now look over to the chair side, which is over here, um, you see pending approval, the, doc, the, the working paper popped up. So as a chair, I now have to look at it and I'm like, oh, that looks really cool. Who's that handsome host over there? Um, and you can either request a revision, uh, you can reject it outright if you'd like to. Uh, you can also upload a revision yourself. Um, uh, so, so um, you know, with, with some uh, feedback, comments, uh, and amendments, and things, and then request a revision. Um, um, now, as a chair, um, th uh, uh, this looked pretty good, so we're going to approve it. Uh, this is going to pop down here into our approved documents list. Um, and as a delegate, I can now see, oh, my working paper 1.7 is approved. Awesome. So as a delegate, I can now go ahead uh, and go to our motions tab and introduce um, this working paper. Um, boop. Duh, duh, and then introduce that as a motion, and there we are. Um, so this is the document approval process. Obviously, this is all in the beginning, right? As soon as you start introducing draft resolutions and amendments and all that sort of thing, um, that all gets interweaved and involved with um, with with also the home the, the modes uh, in home, right? So we'll be automatically thrown into like a, an amendment debate or a vote once you uh, uh, and all that sort of thing. Um, but um, Actually, you don't get thrown into a vote um, because uh, once you introduce a draft resolution, it just introduces it to the floor, but you're only going to vote on it later. Um, that's a different story. Anyway, uh, let's actually have a, a quick look back here into, into, into our motions section where we just introduced this, uh, this motion um, to introduce this working paper as the delegate of Belize. Uh, you can see that document here. That looks really pretty. All right. Um, now, one thing I actually forgot earlier uh, when we talked about the motions is once we hit the pass button here for this unmoderated caucus, for example, it asks us whether we want to switch to the home mode corresponding uh, to that motion. And if you click confirm now, it's going to automatically create a new unmoderated caucus for us here uh, with the parameters uh, that the motion specified. And we will yeah, just enter that as a chain immediately. And that again is one of those things that just save time. You don't have to configure anything. It's just adopted like this from the motion. Um, again, let's go back to our motions here. Um, this is now the working paper. If we now pass that motion, let's do that real quick um, and go back to the documents uh, section. And if we go back into here, our committee documents, we will see working paper 1.7 has been introduced uh, and is now listed here. This is really, really cool because you don't have to send any documents anywhere in Facebook groups uh, uh, or um, or in WhatsApp chats or whatever you use these days. So this will now be accessible to all delegates in your committee, uh, all the chairs obviously too. And um, if an admin wants to look at it or like an, a, a secretary general, he in his uh, document section or her document section also has access to that. Uh, so it's immediately available. Everybody can look at it, download it uh, and work with it uh, moving on from there. All right. Now, if we just briefly look over here, um, this is the, um, the, the conference tab, um, this is where you find your conference schedule um, and you also find a goodie bag here. So if your conference has any sponsors or partners, this is where you will find those and maybe even a voucher for like a coffee or something. Um, 
All right, and you can find some additional information there. I only added a start time and end time here, but you can add, uh, this, uh, there can be uh, descriptions and dress codes and all sorts of exciting things um, as you discover that. Now, this is it. Um, if you would like to uh, um, check out more about that, uh, you can head onto our homepage. Um, you can create your own conference actually right now already uh, with up to 10 people in there. And there's no feature limit. You can just try out everything. If you're too lazy, as I uh, often am, to create your own accounts and do all that sort of jazz, there's also on the upgrade uh, page of our homepage uh, information on um, how you can uh, how you can just use our demo conference. Uh, I'm gonna just quickly head on over to mincommand.com, and if you go in here, upgrade, you here find all those um, demo accounts, uh, so you can just play around a little bit without um, uh, creating any accounts. Um, and and that's that. Now, with that being said, uh, let's switch over back to this uh, view. And um, yeah, if you have any questions or any feedback, uh, obviously we are still a beta. Some things might be still a bit wonky here and there, or even though it runs really, really smoothly already. Um, uh, feel free to let us know. We're looking forward to hearing your, uh, your feedback. And if you'd like to use it for your conference, um, uh, and just contact us. Uh, it's info at mncommand.com. Follow us on Instagram at mncommand. This is where we just uh, post uh, fun things uh, a lot of the time. Um, with that being said, I hope you're going to have a beautiful day and uh, see you guys soon.